Roads are wet, but not snow covered, and hopefully they stay that way. Winds will be a factor as we go through the day, no matter how much more snow we wind up getting. All right, uh, let's turn our attention to a Transform Rockford hosted event uh, coming up tomorrow afternoon. Uh, Wally Haas is the executive director of Transform Rockford tomorrow evening, actually. And it is a, a talk about taxes. Everybody's favorite topic, Wally. <laughs> thank you for joining us this morning. Well, thank you, Andy. Uh, first of all, I uh, thank you for uh, allowing me to be on your program again. I think this is my third appearance. And I would just want to thank you and uh, WIFR for uh, the exposure you've given to Transform Rockford over these uh, past uh, about nine months now since I've been executive director. You're, you're quite welcome. It, it was a, it was a, a cause that uh, generated a lot of attention and a lot of energy, and it's fizzled out. And now you're trying to breathe new life into it. And uh, one of these ways is to talk about some of the issues that the region faces. Rockford, is, the state of Illinois, has high property tax rates compared to the other states, among the highest. You all, the sales tax is up there as well, and that's the purpose of this forum tomorrow, to talk sales tax, isn't it? Right. The, uh, the reason we decided to do this forum, there were a lot of questions about sales tax money. Uh, the school district was considering a facilities tax, which would have been on top of the 8.75% that Rockford residents and visitors already pay. Uh, there was a brief discussion at Rockford City Council about creating a business district and levying a quarter percent sales tax to take care of parking infrastructure. There was some current, uh, concerns about how the mental health tax money is being spent. Uh, County Board Member Paul Arena had some questions about you know, why the uh, mental health board was sitting on such a huge surplus. So all those questions kind of led us to think, you know, we need to, you know, kind of educate the public, let them know what they're, you know, what they're spending, where their money is going, and who can be held accountable for how that money is being spent. Now, it's sales tax has become uh, quite the issue here. Of course, uh, last month, voters in South Beloit approved a sales tax increase of 1% for road repairs. And in Freeport, it was approved by the council and the mayor uh, de casting the deciding vote for a 1% hike for road repairs there. But this forum will address, it's 8.75 in Rockford, not because that's what the city government chose, it's because of what voters have chosen over the years to support mental health right, tax, yeah. to more, support so schools and that kind of thing. Yes, and when we have done that, you know, the, the first one to come about was, of course, the Rockford uh, sales tax for roads, uh, right. the rebuilding Rockford campaign. That uh, and that money, you know, you can tell where that money is being spent. You can go to the city's website. You may disagree with how some of the money is being spent, but you know where it's going, and you know how every dollar is being spent. Plus, it has a five-year sunset clause. So, if you're unhappy with how the city is spending your money, you, the voters can always say, eh, that's enough. Let's talk a little bit. Is the sales tax still considered more fair to citizens than the property tax? I'm not an expert in that, but that will be addressed at our forum. Uh, in general, sales tax is considered a regressive tax because no matter what your income level is, you are paying the same rate. True. Whether you're a billionaire or someone who's just barely getting by, you're still paying the same rate as opposed to, you know, an income tax, which is generally you know, changes based on your income levels. Okay. And that forum, give us the details on where and when, and who are some of the uh, uh, noted speakers you have invited to uh, discuss the sales tax situation? So uh, the event is at 5.30 tomorrow at the Nordloff Center. Uh, we will start precisely at 5.30. Uh, we're going to be opening the doors about 5.00. Uh, we hope for a good turnout. Ralph Martiri from the Center for uh, Tax and Budget Accountability will be our moderator. Panelists include Andy Benson from Benson Stone because you know they sell you know high uh, furniture, which you know adding a couple cents uh, to that purchase can you know be a deterrent for some of his customers. You've got uh, Stacy Brown, a realtor, who's going to address some property tax issues. We have Carrie Haggerty from the city of Rockford, and she knows everything.
thing there is to know about how, how, where the money goes. Uh, Greg Brown from the school district, uh, Chris Thornbush from the county, and Jason Holcomb from Regional One Planning Council, who is also part of the Mental Health Board. And he can talk about all the things uh, concerned with how that money is being spent and what the programs are being uh, funded by it. What is the goal of this forum as far as uh, Transform Rockford is concerned? It, merely an educational opportunity for people to learn a little bit more about where their money is going? Education is a big part of it, but you know we want citizens to be engaged in how their money is being spent. We want them to know who is accountable for that and they, how they can hold their elected officials accountable for their, how their tax money is being spent, whether it's property tax money, sales tax money, uh, casino money, whatever. There's a lot of money out there, <laughs> and you know, residents deserve to know how that money is being spent. And uh, city officials need, and all officials need to ensure that their uh, constituents believe that money is being well spent. That their hard-earned dollars are going for the purposes that they thought they should be going to. Have you, in your nine months with Transform Rockford, heard from businesses that say, yeah, the sales tax is a problem. It's, it's, it's a little too high compared to neighboring communities or even in, uh, or is it, is it, is, is that, is, are they okay with where things sit right now? I haven't heard any specific complaints, but take for instance, you know, if you wanted to buy, you know, some high ticket item, uh, and in Rockford, you pay 8.75% sales tax, but you just go to Beloit and you only pay five and a half. Mm -hmm. Well, that could, uh, could turn out to be a pretty good chunk of change. So how do we remain competitive with that? So do we have to offer better service? Are there other things that are added on that uh, can make our businesses more competitive when they're facing a more than three percentage point difference in sales taxes alone? All right. It, it's a complicated, interesting topic and maybe not a favorite for a lot of us here as we approach April 15th. But it is something that uh, I think will be informative for one and all. It is tomorrow night. Thank you, Wally, uh, Executive Director of Transform Rockford. Tomorrow night Thank is you, Sales Tax Forum at the Nordloff Center at 530. It is free to attend. Uh, no tax. And uh, for more information on this event and Transform Rockford, Go to their website, transformrockford.org. We'll be right back with an old friend.